discuss about electron transport chain it is a, a small portion which is also included in uh, your course 309 electron transport chain system is basically um, describing that how the transfer of electron is occurring uh, within the cell to perform and to synthesize the end product or to yield carbon dioxide and water energy rich molecules such as glucose are metabolized by a series of oxidation reactions and their ultimate yield is carbon dioxide and water the metabolic intermediate of these reactions donate electron to a specific coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide which is also uh, abbreviated as nad and flavin adenine dinucleotide fad and to f it, this that will form the energy rich reduced form that is nadh and nadh2 these reduced uh, coenzyme can in turn each donate a pair of electron to a specialized set of electron carriers that is co q and cytochrome collectively this uh, whole uh, component or all components are known as electron transport chain system as electrons are passed down the etc they lose much of their free energy and this energy is used to move proton across the inner mitochondrial membrane creating a proton gradient that drives the production of atp and adp as well as an inorganic uh, phosphate <coughs> The coupling of electron transport with ATP synthesis is called uh, oxidative phosphorylation. You heard the same oxidative. Uh, you will heard. Uh, you will hear this uh, terminology in your specifically pharmacology class when you will uh, learn about the mechanism of action of different drug. There is a second messenger system that is located in the inner side of the cell, and that is known as molecular mechanism, in which the phos uh, phosphorylation process will take place and that help to pass the messages from outside to inside the uh, cell so uh, what we say that the coupling of electron transport with atp is called oxidative phosphorylation and it proceed continuously in all tissues that contain mitochondria <coughs> Now come to redox pair. What is redox pair? Oxidation which is known as loss of electron of one substance is always accompanied by reduction that is gain of electron of a second. For example, oxidation of NADH to NAD by NADH dehydrogenase in the complex 1. There are different complexes. Uh, um, which are basically comprising of the mechanism of action of ETC. So, um, NADH which, which is converted to NAD by NAD there is an enzyme which required it is known as NAD dehydrogenase and this will this is happening in the complex one is accompanied by a reduction of FMN. So, oxidation of NAD is basically loss of electron so what will happen in this case nadh is converted into nad that is loss of electron there is a component that is basically gaining the electron and gaining of electron is known as as you know uh, reduction so is accompanied by reduction of fmn the prostatic group which is a prostatic group and what it will form fmn is converted into fmnh2 such oxidation reduction reaction can be written as the sum of two separate half reaction one is the oxidation another one is the reduction so complete reaction is comprising of oxidation reduction process this nad and nadh form a redox pair as do fmn and fh fmnh2 these reactions occur in the presence of coenzymes and these coenzymes may be um, NAD, NADP, 
F A D F M N C O Q F E and S we will discuss uh, these in the end now come to mitochondrial membrane where the electron transport uh, mechanism is going on the etc is located in the inner mitochondrial membrane and specialized carriers or transport systems are required to move the ions or molecule across the membrane the inner mitochondrial membrane is usually rich in protein over half of which is directly involved in the oxidative phosphorylation it also is highly uh, convoluted in addition the inner membrane is a specialized structure that is impermeable to almost a small ion including pro uh, protons and small uh, molecules such as atp adp pyruvate and other metabolites important to mitochondrial function now what is the mechanism of action of etc the inner mitochondrial membrane contain four separate protein complexes these are called complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 and complex 4 these complexes accept or donate so, electron uh, we were discussing about the complexes and i said that there are four different complexes uh, which are uh, basically responsible uh, to make a complete electron transport chain system these complexes accept or donate electrons to the relatively mobile electron carrier coenzyme q and cytochrome c so how they will do they uh, donate electron to the mobile electron carriers and these carriers are coenzyme and uh, also including coenzyme q and cytochrome c each carrier in the etc can receive electron from an electron uh, donor and can subsequently donate electrons to the next acceptor in the chain the electron ultimately combine with the oxygen and proton to form water for example this uh, sequence or this reaction can be explained that nadh plus hydrogen plus fmn fmn is the acceptor so uh, ultimately fmnh2 and nad are the uh, end products which are synthesized during this reaction now one by one i will discuss the uh, four different complexes first we are going to discuss the complex one in which nadh is reduced to nadh by the enzyme dehydrogenase which we have already discussed that remove two hydrogen atom from their substrate the free proton plus the hybrid ion carried by nadh are transferred to nadh dehydrogenase complex one has a relative a tightly bounded molecule of flavin mononucleotide that is fmn that accept the two hydrogen atom that is 2e uh, minus will be transferred to synthesize two hydrogen that is two hydrogen plus and it will uh, be, be um, uh, becoming it is becoming fmnh2 now nadh dehydrogenase also contain peptide subunit with iron sulfur center at complex one electron move from nadh to fmn to the iron of the iron sulfur center and then to coenzyme q so uh, you can understand that these coenzymes and these centers are basically helping to uh, move forward the electron as electron flow they lose certain energy and this energy is used to uh, pump proton across the inner mitochondrial membrane from the matrix of inner uh, intermembrane space now come to complex 2 at complex 2 electrons from the succinate dehydrogenase this is the enzyme catalyze oxidation of succinate 
to fumarate move from the coenzyme FADH2 to an inner uh, iron sulfur protein and then to coenzyme Q the small energy change does not allow succinate CoA reductase system to pump proton across the mitochondrial membrane therefore this protein complex does not contribute to proton gradients there hence no atp is formed during complex 2 reaction okay keep remember that uh, energy is uh, formed in the complex 1 while in this case a small energy chain does not allow the reductase coq system to pump the proton so uh, in this complex no contribution of proton gradient will occur and this reaction can be uh, written as succinate plus coq will synthesize end product fumarate and coq h2 now come to complex 3 this system catalyzes transfer of electron from coq transfer of electrons from coq that is coenzyme q h2 to cytochrome c via cytochrome b and cytochrome c1 these are the different cytochrome uh, inner mitochondrial enzymatic complexes which reduce f e that is ferrous 3 except electron and is oxidized to reduce f e plus 3 accepts electron and is oxidized to f e plus 2 the system also acts as a proton pump four protons are pumped across the mitochondrial membrane during the oxidation reaction in complex 3 the energy change permits atp formation in complex 3 now uh, if i write it in the reaction this reaction could be qh2 plus 2 cytochrome c plus 2 hydrogen that is oxidized matrix and ultimately the, at the end a reduced q is synthesized plus 2 cytochrome c plus 4 hydrogens in the intermembrane space are generated which are basically permitting formation of atp now come to complex 4 this cytochrome complex 4 is the only electron carrier in which the heme iron has an available coordination site that can react directly with oxygen and it, it is also called as cytochrome oxidase due to this reason at complex 4 the transported electron oxygen and free proton are brought together and oxygen is reduced to water four electrons are required to reduce one molecule of oxygen to two molecules of water cytochrome oxidase contains copper atom that are required to uh, that are required for this complicated reaction to occur is it clear that copper is required for this complicated reaction in which uh, you heard that four electrons are required to reduce one molecule of oxygen to two molecules of water the energy change permits atp formation between cytochrome a3 and the molecular oxygen now how you can describe this complex 4 into the reaction that four cytochrome c 
एंड एफ ई प्लस टू प्लस फोर हाइड्रोजन प्लस ऑक्सीजन दे विल कंटिन्यू टू सिंथसाइज फोर साइटोक्रोम सी एफ ई प्लस थ्री में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा एंड टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल विच आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट वन ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल वाइल साइटोक्रोम सी एंड साइटोक्रोम ए एंड कॉपर्स आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड एंड दे विल कंटिन्यू टू सिंथसाइज साइटोक्रोम ए थ्री एंड ओ टू दैट दे आर रिलीजिंग ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम वेयर ऑक्सीजन इज कमिंग ऑक्सीजन इज कमिंग बाई साइटोक्रोम सी साइटोक्रोम ए इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ कॉपर एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू टू सिंथसाइज साइटोक्रोम ए थ्री एंड देन ऑक्सीजन Now there are some important information which I uh, asked you in the beginning that after discussing the whole uh, ATC electron transport chain system, I will let you know about the coenzyme Q and cytochrome. Now come to the uh, uh, specialized enzyme system, enzyme catal catalytic enzymes which are present in this ATC. Uh, how they function? That coenzyme Q is a quinone, Q U I N O N E quinone derivative. With a long hydrophobic isoprenoid tail, it is called ubiquinone because it is ubiquitous in biological system. CoQ is a mobile electron carrier. Keep remember CoQ, that is coenzyme Q, which you heard uh, this this name you will heard several time uh, during the uh, different reactions. of the building block for example we have discussed lipid and in which i took this name several time coq r required coq r required so coq is a mobile electron carrier mobile electron carrier and can accept hydrogen atom from nadh dehydrogenase that is discussed in which complex complex 1 from uh, succinate dehydrogenase that is complex 2 and for and from other mitochondrial dehydrogenases coq transfer electron to complex 3 that is cytochrome bc1 theek okay? hai and then coq links the flavor protein dehydrogenase to the cytochromes now come to cytochrome the remaining membrane of the etc are cytochrome proteins the remaining membranes of etc are cytochrome one portion is um, comprising of coq another portion is comprising of cytochrome cytochrome protein each contain a heme group unlike the heme group in the hemoglobin okay the cytochrome iron is reversibly converted from its ferric to ferrous that is fe plus 3 to ferrous fe plus 2 form as a normal part of its function as an acceptor and donor of electron so these two systems coenzyme q and cytochrome they are playing important role in electron transport and in energy generation system so they are continuing the metabolic end reaction which is occurring in the mitochondrial membrane and that will produce energy in the form of atp and this atp is utilized in the different biological functions and biological reactions so here i have finished complex uh, cytochrome complex system or etc electron transport chain system uh, which uh, you need to now uh, write and make a ppt file on it thank you so much